You know, for all the years I've been in the DJ game, just like any other thing, there's always been haters. Many say they use their haters as motivation to prove their haters wrong at one point or another. But I, me personally, I've never did it that way because it's just not my style. You know something, I've always been rooting for any other DJ out there. And sure, here's the deal, I've had my fair share of haters and still do, but you know you can ask me right now if I care if you hate on me or not, because at the end of every day, well, I know I'm great at what I do. And believe me when I tell you, I don't have to brag about it because my resume speaks for itself. As a professional DJ who's earned the right to call himself a professional DJ, I know I bring it night in and night out. Oh, believe me when I tell you to assure any audience in front of me that they're gonna enjoy their time when I'm the DJ. Oh my goodness, I've dealt with things in this industry where other DJs are hovering over me, waiting for me to mess up. Not gonna happen. DJs bad mouth me so bad, trying to embarrass me on the mic. No clue as to why. Quote unquote headline DJs stopping my sets because the crowd is feeling me and not them. People lying on me in reviews, but their videotapes as otherwise, other DJs undercutting me on gigs. You know, I've actually had one DJ hate on me so much at an audition for a silent disco company that he told his boss nobody was feeling my set whatsoever. But the data showed otherwise because my collab shined him and the other DJ more than 70% of the night. And yeah, I've dealt with racism. Yes, racism. Been there, done that. So, you know something, I've had my fair share of haters, which is fine with me. Because hate all day, every day, love conquers all. And when it comes to the love of being a DJ, let me tell you something. I put in hours on hours on hours on end of practice to make sure I bring the right energy and make people want to dance, sing along, party to the wee hours of the night that I most likely lead the league in hearing that channel one more song. Mm. And even in the midst of haters, you know something, I have far more fans than I could have ever dreamed of having. And I totally appreciate that to the core of my heart. I'm respected by so many DJs, young and old, for always bringing that right combination of skill, energy, creativity, and a passion for what I do. I'm a DJ and I'm proud of it. I don't care about what kind of music I have to play because I love music. So any genre or any style out there I'm deemed to play, I play for the people. Yes, the people. Because I live for giving people a reason to celebrate whatever the occasion may be. There's something as I learned about people from being a DJ, people want to have a good time, no negativity, and music is an amazing part of their lives. So they dance, bop their heads, tap their toes, sing along to their favorite songs. So when I see other DJs, well, beefing with other DJs, oh, well, who's the better DJ? I always ask, where's the beef? Your DJs, you play music. Unless you're in a DJ battle, then and only then I expect you to be competitive with other DJs. Yet, even then, I would hope you have some level of respect over hating your fellow DJ. DJs, remember, your job is to bring joy to people with music. So, hating on the next DJ? Unnecessary. When you're at an event you're, and you're not the DJ, remove that title of DJ and label yourself a guest and enjoy yourself. Over sitting there saying things like, oh, I would have done this, I would have done that, this DJ doesn't know what he's doing. Yet, that DJ you're hating on has people rocking on a packed dance floor. Sure, that DJ may not be all of that. Hmm. But they're hype, not you. So why you hate it? You know, one time I heard a DJ where I was at this supposedly hottest, one of the hottest nightclubs in Las Vegas, and yeah, this DJ was horrible. Transition song selections, etc., sounded like a train wreck. Had me on the edge to literally jumping in the booth and showing them how it was done. But I chose to let him play because he won't get any better until he learns from his mistakes, just like any other DJ would have to learn. And it didn't matter at all because the crowd showed their disdain for him with an empty dance floor. Ah, oh, man, I wound up going to another spot that night because after realizing that the spot was looking like he wasn't going to survive with him, I didn't hate on that DJ. I just said to myself, I hope that he's seen for himself 
what we see in that there's room for improvement. Because I'm sure he didn't get that spot on skill, but because of who he knew. Yet, no hate for me whatsoever, because here's the deal, it takes heart to be a DJ. Boy, this isn't a shy business, and if that's the case, do not, and I mean do not become a DJ, unless you can overcome that fear to showcase your skills as a DJ in front of people, good or bad. See, I'm a native New Yorker, so I, of all people, know, hmm, being a DJ isn't for everyone. Sure, people think it's cool, but guess what? If you don't love what you do as a DJ, people will know and they will let you know out the box, especially here in New York. They may not say it in words, oh my goodness, but an empty dance floor speaks words so loud that you could ever imagine. DJs, hating this game is so unnecessary. Believe me when I tell you, because being a DJ is a, about being a lover of the universal language called music and sharing it with people. Like Mary J said, there's no need for hateration. Brush up on your skills. Give people quality. Enjoy the moments as they come. DJs, quit with all that nonsense. See, I'm not just the DJ, I'm a fan. So I check out all, all kinds of DJs, all DJs all over the world, all the time. And I have no time for hate. I enjoy those who can get it in, do what they do, for however they do it, and share my wisdom with those I feel that they can be better without making them feel like I'm on some negative nonsense at all. If you're quote unquote the best in the game, quote unquote, let your skills do your talking. Me, I don't care about being the best, really don't. It never bothered me. I'm focused on being the best for the audience that's in front of me at that point in time. And as that old saying goes, you're only good as your last event. Hmm. I wish every DJ could be great, but I leave that in your hands to be the best you can be as I strive to be the best I can be. So if you're choosing to hate hmm, on that right there, then do you and keep it away from me. I'm a DJ, not a hater. So hi, hater. Bye, hater. I'm doing me for those who want to do it with me. Okay, so let's eat, sleep, and repeat the mix, monster, and I'm out.